Mayana Don back again here at Philly Esports 2v2 Rocket League Tournament hosted by Montgomery County Community College. I am joined by Timothy Beloff, uh, the director of esports at Arcadia. Uh, how's it going today? It's going really great. We're uh, having a good time. It's a really good turnout here. We're, we're pretty excited to be here. Absolutely. You guys have just been uh, starting out your esports program there. I know I talked to Bill last week or two weeks ago when we had this uh, previous Rocket League event. Uh, you know, how did it go for you guys today? How are you guys feeling for the future of, of esports at Arcadia? Uh, we're, we're pretty excited. Uh, we we, we kind of got paired up some against some uh, pretty good teams today, so it was, it was pretty good. But uh, we're pretty excited about the future and what it holds for us. Uh, we have Rocket League and League of Legends, Overwatch, and Hearthstone. So. Um, we have a pretty awesome uh, setup with, with uh, our teams coming up and, and, and recruiting and whatnot is, is really taking off for us. So uh, we're looking really good for the future. So, Absolutely. I mean, that, that's definitely great news. I love seeing all the kind of programs around the area, you know, developing, growing. And, uh, you know, even if they didn't succeed today, it's a great learning experience. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, there are some really great players out here. So they can maybe hopefully, hopefully you know, improve uh, just by playing against them, you know. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, you want to tell me a little bit more about your program and, and sort of just the, the history there and kind of what you guys are trying to do? Yeah, sure. So uh, about 2018, in the spring of 2018, we started, hey, we should be doing esports. Like, yeah. People kind of came up to me. Uh, I work full time at the university and they're like, hey, we know you're into gaming a little bit. And I, I mean, I teach a course at Arcadia on, on video games. And I was like, yeah, sure. Let's let's take a look at it. And I was able to kind of start getting everything kind of up and, and running from there. Um, we spent about a year getting everything squared away, designing our arena. Um, we have a, a, a 3,500 square foot arena with thir uh, 46 gaming PCs, a Switch, a PS4, and an Xbox. Um, we have about 30 on our current roster right now with the addition of 16 more, hopefully, for the spring. Um, so we're, we're pretty excited about what the future holds. Um, like I said, we have Overwatch, League, uh, Hearthstone, and Rocket League uh, as our four main games. We're hoping to look to, look to expand in the near future. Um, we, uh, we offer scholarships, which is great, uh, which is one of the only, only sports at, at Arcadia that actually is able to offer scholarships, so we're, we're pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really great. And how does it feel, you know, sort of competing at, at this kind of event? I know uh, a lot of those have, you know, TESPA or other sort of, uh, you know, competing platforms that you play against other schools, but kind of, you know, expanding into, to, you know, these types of more casual semi-competitive events, but then also, you know, brings the, you know, high level of competition maybe you guys wouldn't be facing necessarily. Yeah. Uh, at the other tournaments. No, so this is great. I mean, you know, normally what we're doing is, is just competing in, in our arena against other schools from all over the country. I mean, we've, we've competed from schools from California to the Midwest, to North and South, everywhere in between. Uh, so actually, this is our first time actually bringing our, our students out to an event um, to, to compete in a face-to-face -face environment. And it's been really great. I mean, it's, it's good to kind of get uh, some, some contacts with other people and, and let them see what the, what the kind of the scene is, is kind of growing and how it's growing here in, in, the, in Philly area. And maybe recruit some younger players. I know we have some <laughs> some some young players here that Absolutely. have a lot of potential and could definitely, uh, you know, I'm sure get some scholarships at places Absolutely. like Arcadia. Um, but yeah, any any other last thoughts before I let you go? I appreciate you coming by and bringing the you know the team. I know you, you brought sort of a, a squadron with you. I think two different teams uh, and then like three coaches and so the whole the whole armada here. Uh, but yeah, so tell me a little bit about that. Um, no, it's it's been great. We. Uh, as I said, we have our, our teams here, our coaches here. Um, we all kind of support and, and, and bring everyone together. And I think that's kind of the key to esports in them itself is, is the camaraderie in the sports, uh, in, in, in the sport itself and, and making sure we have um, everyone kind of bought, bought into, the, into the idea and, and, and just being open to acceptance and, and whatnot. So it's, it's really great. So, yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thanks yeah. for coming by. I appreciate, appreciate it and uh, good luck. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.